7 Things You Should Know If You Drive an Electric Vehicle If you're a new electric vehicle owner or are thinking of switching to electric, make sure to follow these points for the best experience. Electric vehicles are starting to take flight, with more electric vehicles on the road than ever before. But with this onslaught of electric vehicles come new considerations that electric vehicle drivers must keep in mind. Things like charging station etiquette, as well as safety precautions while charging your electric vehicle are vital for having a positive electric vehicle experience. Here's what you need to know. 7. Towing in electric vehicles must be done properly. If your electric vehicle falls victim to a flat tire or any other roadside malady, you might need to call a tow truck. The thing is, you can't just hook up your electric vehicles to any tow truck. Towing trucks that pull your vehicle while two of the wheels are still rolling on the ground may damage your electric vehicles. Some electric vehicles will refuse to shift into neutral when they encounter a problem, usually when their battery is completely depleted. This is why it's imperative that you let the towing company know that they need to send a flat tow truck. With this style of tow truck, the electric vehicle's wheels will never come into contact with the ground. Make sure to also let them know if your vehicle's transmission is stuck in the park position, which will make the job of getting the vehicle onto a flatbed considerably more difficult. Electric vehicle ownership comes with its own set of considerations. Whether you're a new electric vehicle owner or a seasoned veteran, it's important to keep in mind that electric vehicle's ownership carries some differences compared to regular car ownership. Being aware of these differences is vital to a safe electric vehicle's ownership experience. Six. Plan your visits to fast chargers with time to spare. Charging in electric vehicles will most likely take longer than a normal stop at the gas station. This is why trips to the charging station should be planned thoroughly, and you should make sure that you have extra time to wait for other users to finish charging their vehicles. It's possible that all charging ports will be occupied, so make sure you plan accordingly. If you're in a huge hurry, the entire process might turn out to be a miserable experience, especially if there's a long line. Using an electric vehicle's charging network app to check whether charging stalls are free is recommended. Some also allow you to announce to other electric vehicle's owners in the area that you intend to charge there too. 5. Always be aware of the nearest charging station. Electric vehicle's range has improved drastically through the years, and many electric vehicles with great range offer upwards of 300 miles of driving capabilities. This means that range anxiety shouldn't overwhelm you but it's necessary to be aware of the location of the nearest charging station at all times. This is especially true if you're driving somewhere far in the middle of winter. Imagine driving through a snowy road in the middle of nowhere in your electric vehicles. With your heater at full blast, range will deplete quicker than normal. You can't turn the heater off to save range because it's insanely cold out, but the nearest charging station is nowhere to be found. This might sound scary, but it's a scenario that's completely avoidable. This is why it's important to know where the nearest DC, direct current, fast charging stations are at all times and plan your routes with these locations in mind. 4. Pedestrians might not hear you coming. Electric vehicles drivers might become desensitized to the fact that they drive a quiet vehicle. The trouble is, pedestrians instinctively listen for engine noise, but electric vehicles don't emit any. The sounds coming from an electric vehicles are mostly tire noise and electric motor whine and these aren't things pedestrians are instinctively on the lookout for. This is why electric vehicles are required by law in most countries to emit a sound when traveling at low speeds. Yet sometimes even this audible warning may not be something people associate with an incoming car. Be conscious of the fact that people walking around might be oblivious to your approaching electric vehicles and alert them of your presence if necessary. Three, check electric vehicles chargers for any visible damage. If you're about to use a public charger, make sure you inspect the unit for any visible damage before hooking up your vehicle. Check the entire unit and make sure there aren't any out-of-order signs posted on the charger. If you notice any visible damage on the charger, don't touch it and report it immediately. It's also important to check that the actual connector that you'll be plugging into your vehicle's charging port isn't damaged. If the connector looks damaged, don't plug it into your vehicle's port. It might cause issues. Two. Put the charger connector back where it belongs. If you're charging your vehicle at a public charger, make sure to put the charging connector back in its correct holder. It's the courteous thing to do, but it could also potentially be dangerous to simply leave it hanging or on the ground. If an unaware driver runs over the connector while parking, they can potentially damage the connector. 
This is obviously a major annoyance that can easily be avoided by not leaving the connector dangling. People have had many years to develop proper gas station etiquette and charging station etiquette isn't that different. If you don't go to a gas station and leave the pump dangling on the ground, there's no reason to do this at a charging station. 1. Don't hog the charging station. Charging networks with lightning fast charging capabilities are becoming a reality, but it's important to know certain things when visiting a charging station. Charging station etiquette is something that will become a greater issue once more electric vehicles hit the market. Currently, even though electric vehicles don't make up the majority of cars on the road, it's still essential to have consideration for other electric vehicles owners at the charging station. If your vehicle is no longer charging, don't leave it plugged. Charging stations are not permanent parking spaces. If you're out shopping and your electric vehicle is finished recharging, the most considerate thing to do is move your car from the charging space and park it in a regular parking spot. This will ensure that other electric vehicle's drivers will be able to enjoy the same charging benefits you just did. It's why idle fees exist and why you should verify if the electric vehicle's charger you're using has a time limit. If you are happy with our service, please do not forget to leave a nice comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and hope to see you again in our next video. This is your favorite channel, the Top Tech Rolling Out.